Hey sippers, welcome back to another video. So ever since Nicki dropped that whole F the Club Up remix, people want to start the drama and they want to start this narrative about drugs and her also being a lame because apparently she has no Grammy. Now, this is all because she is still succeeding. Y'all know F the Club Up is number one on iTunes. And listen, it has been battling Taylor Swift because y'all must know Taylor Swift dropped the tortured poets department like it's a lot of names for one album though it's doing great anywho i feel like people when they realize nikki's doing well in music they come up with this whole oh she's on drugs rumors and oh guess what nikki's on a Zempix. that's why she lost weight because she was big last year and now how she got so skinny every single time when nikki succeeds and she looks good here comes the fans whether from cardi b side or megan the stallions or lotto side you know spreading these false narrative making nikki look bad calling her no grammy granny and that she's 41 and she needs to wrap it up and she's getting old no one cares no one's listening and listen the fact that Nikki is still charting and she has one of the biggest fan base, it proves that those people, they were solely haters. They're still haters because you're creating this narrative because you want to see your rapper shine. You want to see your favorite rapper shine. But if your rapper was rapping and if your rapper was talented, Nikki wouldn't have been y'all problem. But she's super talented and she's chosen and she's beating these allegations, sweetheart. People can't stand Nikki. Not to mention, y'all know Nikki husband and a sex offender. And people were judging her like, why him? You should have just stayed with Meek Mill, who was actually, I heard, allegedly kicking on her. Nikki also said Meek Mill spits on her. Like, why would she stay with Meek Mill? To show how crazy sometimes people would talk, y'all would have set Nikki up. Why would she stay with someone who was allegedly abusing her? Listen, I don't find joy speaking down on Cardi because I've never spoke down on Cardi. Whenever I say she's pretty, she's very pretty, she's very funny and entertaining. I just feel like the rap industry girl, she's the one who's need, who needs to wrap it up. I feel so pissed because Jason Lee said... Nikki is one of the worst rapper of the century. But I was confused. I, I, I was like, is he telling Cardi B that she's the worst rapper of the century? Because that girl cannot rap. And you're calling Nikki the worst rapper? At this point, I feel like Jason Lee, he can't say nothing else about Nikki because every time he says something so crazy, she proves him and everyone else wrong. She has the biggest tour, like, be for real, who's going to top that? Nobody. No other female rapper is going to top that. Not saying that I don't want them to, because I'd love to see Bia and JT win, but Megan Thee Stallion is definitely not going to top Nicki's number. And I said what I said, but let us know what y'all think, because these drugs allegations, they're getting so annoying to me. Nicki ain't on no drugs, and she definitely didn't took any Ozempics to lose weight. But let us know what y'all think down below in this comment section, y'all. Do not forget to leave a like, share if you care, click that notification bell, and see y'all next time. And thank you guys for sipping with us.